For those of you who are attending this conference for the first time, at the end of the two and a half days that you'll be here, you're going to come away with a simple conclusion. That, and that conclusion is this is the premier conference, user conference in the marketplace, especially for the LM product line. The tremendous experience that's here is available to you, so take advantage of that. Um, and SPS as a company has had the great fortune of participating with the Western Turbine users since its inception 26 years ago. Uh, we met with the original founders of Western Turbine users, we met with General Electric, and SPS was chosen to help track the availability and reliability performance of the LM fleet. The LRAP system's been in place for really close to 40 years. It's been in place over 30 years as part of strategic policy. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what ORAP is. ORAP is a system that stands for Operational Reliability Analysis Program, uh, but we just call it ORAP today. And it's focused on operating power plants and utility production, merchant power plants, co-generation, um, platforms, pipelines, and that's the foundational aspect of ORAP. That's where ORAP got its foundation. Today, it also focuses on renewables, wind, solar, solar PV, and also blow-off resistance. ORAP as a system is funded by the turbine manufacturer on your behalf. So part of the agreement that we have in place with GE and the Western Turbine users is they actually pay for ORAP. So there is no fee to the, to the customer to participate in the ORAP system. But the goal is to provide you a benefit both as a user group and as an individual power plant so you can see how your units are stacking up against other units in, in the fleet. ORAP tracks legacy units, heavy duty frame gas turbines, and for the, uh, for the GE uh, product line we're focused on the LM1600, 2500, the LM6000, and today the LMS100. Today we have about 70% of the LMS100s that are operating in the marketplace on the ORAP system. ORAP is a very simple process. Uh, the process begins with your plant, and we're interested in four things. We're interested, interested in the pedigree of your plant, the design of your plant, whether it's simple cycle, combined cycle, whether, uh, whatever the application your plant is in, we're interested in understanding what the plant layout looks like, where redundancy exists, where it may not exist. Because we want to know if an event occurs in your plant against a component or a system, we want to understand what that does to the, the engine, but also what it does in terms of your ability to provide uh, the power that, that you're required to serve. We're also interested in events, operating events, both planned outages and maintenance outages. Why do we need that? We need your downtime in order to understand where your outages are coming from, how long it takes you to do a repair when you perform that maintenance, what component are you charging your downtime to? Is it the gas turbine generator? Is it the GG or the TT? Or is it balanced plane equipment? That's our focus, tracking the right level of data, a right level of granularity so we can assign downtime to the correct events. The value proposition of the ORAP system is the standardization that comes across across your fleet so that the KPIs that you get back, the availability and reliability metrics, give you a strong basis for understanding how your equipment is performing, say, against all other LM6000, or maybe all other LM6000s that are recycling duty on natural gas, or whatever your peer group might be. Uh, we want to be able to benchmark your performance against the fleet so that you can understand where do you stack up. And the GE or the OEM will be looking at your data as well. They want to know how you're performing so they can provide benefit back to you as a client. The Western Turbine Users wants to also share that information to understand common problems and problem resolutions so they can reduce the effect of, of, of unscheduled downtime or forced outages on the, on, as a generic problem on the fleet. Um, if you know the NERC GAG system, you have to report to NERC GAGs, it's now mandatory. If you report to us and at the level of granularity required for the ORAP system, we'll do your NERC GAG reporting so you only have to report once. And that's the value proposition of the ORAP system. When the data comes in from your plant, we have over 650 rules that validate that data. There's both manual validation and automated data validation to ensure that the information you provided is 
absolutely comparable to the other data that comes in from your peers, so that we can compare that data across that fleet. And that ensures data quality and data validity as we make those comparisons on your behalf. We've just announced a, a change in the way we report back to all of the users. We've just set up our ORAC anal analytics portal so that when you send your data to us, you can visualize your data online when you want to see it. You can determine the KPIs that have more importance to you as a plan, and then go set up your dashboard to see that information so that you can make relevant comparisons. Come by the booth, talk to our staff, there's about nine or ten of us here, and we'll introduce you to the portal. And I, one thing I, I wanted to highlight was that we have a new relationship with OSI Soft. How many of you have a uh, Pi system at your site here as a historian? Uh, the OBRAC system can now take data from Pi to the, to the connected services feature of Pi. And our relationship allows us now to transform that data, that near real-time data, into time capacity and events. And that's 85% of the data required by OBRAC. We can eliminate human input on the majority of the data required by the system. The 15% of the data that's still needed uh, has to come from the human being. Why? If I have a problem with a new oil pump, and really the pump, the, the motor on that pump is the problem, no computer is going to tell you that. Maybe a sensor will, somewhat. But a human being is going to tell you what the problem is, what the symptom was, what the root cause of failure was, and how long it took to fix that problem. So again, if you compare that against your fleet, if you're doing engine change-outs, and you take a day or two to perform that change-out, and you want to compare that to others in the fleet that are doing that same change-out, and maybe putting in TILs or service bulletins at the same time, that's comparable information that can only come from human beings. So you're never going to totally automate the, the reporting process for the ORAP system. We have another relationship with a company called MapEx. And MapEx is a thermal performance monitoring system. So now you can look at not just the availability and reliability performance of your asset, you can also look at the thermal performance of your asset. And at the end of the day, determine what the correlation is between your maintenance plans and your, your thermal performance. And that information is available to, to you through that system. And the way it works is, again, there's your plant. We want to take the data from your, from your Pi system in a near real-time way. We want to take that data and we transform that data through this process from Pi Cloud Connect using our data validation <coughs> rules and our data transformation rules. And we create your ORAP data for you, minus the human input. And that improves the fidelity and the accuracy of data. And one example that is, is I think, relevant for the units in California is startup times. How long does it take you to get online? If the Cal ISO requires you to be online in 10 minutes at load, um, this system will tell you if you're online at load in 10 minutes. So it tracks your start from the start initiation through all of the permissives to ignition to break or closure and it tracks that for you in a near real time manner. Our system allows you to do that and what does it do? It frees up your staff, your operators and your maintenance people to do the things they do best and allows the control system to do what it does best and improves the fidelity of the data. Come to the booth, please talk to us about it. It's a system that has tremendous value. I think the value is on, uh, on, support, on behalf of the user group. Please come and talk to us about it. And we have various applications that can go along with it, from life calculating, cycles tracking. We've always talked about cycles tracking as a group, and, and, and a lot of people are really tracking cycles. Perhaps this can help you do that. So you can track critical parts of life, and you can track the management of that lifetime through the asset's useful life. Come again to talk to us at our booth, and we're happy to uh, take you to the ORAP system. And with that, Brian, and the rest of the team, thank you for your time.